Experience 10 days of Grand Europe trip with GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Welcome. In the Tata Passenger Electric Mobility, I said that many adhikaris, many ordinary people, who are conducting their own business. Some of them are coming from Wonderland, some are coming from other electric companies. Another one is the Tata Passenger. கிளம்பியிருக்க போவதாக ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய அறிவிப்பை அவர்கள் வெளியிட்டார்கள் அந்த அறிவிப்பு வெளியிடப்பட்டு ஒரு சில நாட்கள் தான் ஆகிறது அதற்குள்ள இப்போ உங்கள் செயல்லையும் காட்டிட்டாங்க எஸ் நீங்கள் பார்க்குற மாதிரி டியாகோ இவி களம் கண்டிருக்கிறது இன்றைக்கி அது லான்ச் செய்யப்பட்டிருக்கிறது இதில் மிகப்பெரிய விஷயம் என்னென்னு கேட்டிங்கன்னா டாட்டா தான் ஏற்கனவே வந்து எலக்ட்ரிக் வெஹிக்கிள் செக்மெண்ட்டில் பார்த்திங்கன்னா அதிகமாக எண்ணிக்கை எனக்குறைய ஒரு நாற்பத்தஞ்சாயிரம் கார்கள் சாலைகள் ஓடிட்டுருக்கு இவி கார்கள் ஓடிக்கொண்டிருக்கிறது டாட்டா கார்கள் அந்த இவி கார்கள் என்பதுதான் இதில் முக்கியமான ஒரு விஷயம் நம்ம நாட்டில் ஒரு நூறு எலக்ட்ரிக் வாகனங்கள் இருக்குன்னா அதில் எண்பத்தி ஒன்பது வாகனங்கள் டாட்டா வாகனங்களாக தான் இருக்கிறது டாட்டா இவி வாகனங்களாகத்தான் இருக்கிறது ஸோ அந்த வகையில் இந்த டாட்டா இவி இன்னொரு குறிப்பான ஒரு விஷயத்தையும் செஞ்சுருக்கு ஏன்னா ஒரு பத்து லட்சம் ரூபாய்க்கு குறைவான அதாவது ஸ்டார்டிங் ப்ரைஸே வந்து எட்டு புள்ளி நான்கு ஒன்பது லட்சம்தான் இவ்வளவு குறைந்த விலையில் ஒரு எலக்ட்ரிக் வாகனம் வருகிறது என்பது இது முதல் முறை இந்தியாவுக்கு இது ஒரு பெருமை மிகுந்த தருணம் டாட்டாவுக்கு மட்டுமல்ல இந்த எலக்ட்ரிக் வாகன சந்தைக்கே இது ஒரு பெருமை மிகுந்த ஒரு குறிப்பான ஒரு தருணம் ஸோ இந்த ஒரு விஷயத்தில் தான் ஆனந்த் குல்கர்னி நம்மளோட இருக்காங்க இந்த ஒரு ப்ராடக்டை மக்கள்கிட்ட கொண்டு சேர்க்கறதுல இந்த உருவாக்குறதுல அவங்களுக்கு ஒரு மிகப்பெரிய பங்கு உண்டு ஸோ இந்த ப்ராடக்டை பற்றி நமக்கு இருக்கக்கூடிய சந்தேகங்களை நமக்கு தெரிஞ்சிக்க விரும்பும் விஷயங்களை அவர்கிட்ட வந்து கேட்க தேடி தெரிஞ்சிக்க போகிறோம் வணக்கம் சார் வணக்கம் Congratulations in the first place. Thank you so much. For the very first time in the country, we have launched a product which is costing 10 lakhs. The Lower. EV product. Yes. The EV product. So that's the icing on the cake. Yes. So how you have made it? So uh, I think we, when we started this product, uh, it was a challenge for us to uh, try and get it to a point where we could build aspirationality, premiumness, lot of features, reliability, performance, all into one and therefore uh, uh, all of this uh, we've been able to do in this product by some very intelligent choice of the architecture by being able to uh, use uh, parts and uh, and the entire architecture which has been uh, used in tata evs elsewhere and also by using infrastructure and facilities which were a part of uh, what we were doing on the tiago so it's a com beautiful combination of so many things coming together which has enabled us to pr make this uh, wonderful product which is tiago ev we're really happy about it okay sir for a big for a bigger picture i just want to get uh, things clarified mm -hmm. um, some time back you announced about avinya yes. and then the curve happened Correct. and then the 10 uh, electric cars announcement and now the tiago ev so you're talking about generation 1 generation 2 and generation 3 so on the whole what is your outlook for the ev cars generally right so you are very correct uh, that we have actually rolled out a multi generational strategy generation 1 was about a conversion strategy which meant that we would use products that were available with us they were already settled established proven products and we would use them to uh, be converted into electric vehicles generation 2 is when we would make uh, more larger bigger changes to the underbody to the platform in order to provide for certain added additional range benefits uh, and that would become generation 2 and of course the generation 3 which was a e electric vehicle built from scratch born electric born electric okay so uh, you see that we have now with the launch of the tiago today we are all, uh, we are completing the generation 1 Uh, strategy from now onwards whatever we do in the future will all be generation 2 or generation 3 strategies use of these three strategies is enabling us to establish ourselves in the electrification space because if you go back 2 years 3 years there was no electric vehicle within the country at that time uh, unless choices were provided to customers it was impossible for us to expect that customers would be willing to switch to a new technology and therefore we had to make uh, choices and we had to bring offerings which would enable our people to achieve those decision points having now done that we are now progressing and uh, we will roll this out for a broader portfolio bigger portfolio of products so i just want to understand what all the things you have learned out of nexon ev and uh, tigor ev and uh, what all the things or what are what is the technology you have carried forward to the tiago ev yeah i think that's a very relevant question because uh, 
with the Nexon EV, we have almost covered now 500 million kilometers. This is rich data because nobody in the country today has such deep experience when it comes to electric vehicles. We are the only ones who have this information. So obviously this information is of no use if it cannot be put to improve the next vehicles. Looking at this data, it has given us the ability to understand how our customers are driving vehicles, how they are using, using this for certain use cases and what are their expectations therefore. While they may not speak to us directly, but from the data it's possible to understand what are the expectations. What has this been able to give us? We have been able to improve efficiencies on the product. We have been able to improve strategies. We have been able to increase the safety of the vehicles in terms of the way the components behave, the way the uh, batteries behave, the way the motors behave. And all of this has been brought together in the Tiago, which benefits from all of these learnings. And of course, as we keep learning, they will automatically keep getting applied on all our Gen 2 and Gen 3 products also. Why do in the first place battery cars or electric cars should cost more than the IC cars? One of the reasons for this is the cost of the batteries itself. So you see uh, battery prices have been falling down. Uh, so if you look at a time period of last 10 years, battery prices came down significantly. But in the last year or so, what has happened is uh, because of commodity uh, increases worldwide, globally, uh, some amount of uh, those gains have been given up and battery prices have actually started creeping up in, uh, after a long, long time of 10, 15 years. Uh, but even today, with the prices that have fallen as compared to 10 years back, battery prices constitute a very large percentage of the value of the car. So it's about uh, if you want more range, you will have to pay more. And therefore, uh, when you try and give meaningful ranges uh, like 300 kilometers certified, which will give about 225 to 230 kilometers in real life, then you need to have a certain level of battery and that means a certain level of cost is inbuilt into the car. Yeah. As compared to 10 years back, it is imminently better today uh, to make uh, more frugal, more economical uh, battery vehicles. But still, as compared to ICE vehicles, the costs may be slightly on the higher side. Now, this is the status today. Look at what is going to happen in the future or shortly, is that because of emission norms, the ICE vehicles are also going to have after treatment devices and as a result of that the costs are going to creep up on the ICE vehicles. Secondly, the ICE vehicles will require to comply with certain standards which are called as CAFE, where, where CAFE means corporate average fuel economy and for that they will have to add more technologies which are going to require cost. So progressively the difference between an ICE vehicle and an electric vehicle will Get narrow. narrow. Okay. Now that's on the initial investment. But initial investment is not everything. The cost of running is also something that you have to compare. And even today, the electric vehicle is one-sixth the cost of running an ICE vehicle. So for example, uh, in the same size of uh, vehicle, uh, it will cost you about 8 rupees a kilometer on petrol. But an electric vehicle will cost you only about a rupee or 1 rupee 20 paise a kilometer. So by that way, the customer can save money in the long run. Correct. So over a, and what we see today, looking at how much people drive, it should be possible to recover that additional premium in a period of, of about two, two and a half years. So beyond that, electric vehicles become cheaper. And that's how a lot of people are making conscious choices about switching to uh, electric vehicles. But again, when it comes to the life of this, you know, the electric cars, no one, uh, because it's not proven as of now. For how many years electric car or electric car can be driven? So it's uh, it's not correct to say that it has not been proven because we as manufacturers would do all the tests to make sure that it is all right. That is what gives us the confidence to say the batteries are going to live and be okay for eight years, one lakh sixty thousand kilometers bare minimum. That is a warranty that Tata Motors gives, and this is a class leading warranty within the industry today. Uh, and it's our confidence of having done uh, tests and validated it uh, to, to be able to give you this confidence. Now, what has happened is the first customers of Nexon who bought the Nexon electric vehicle two years back, some of these customers have run the vehicle for even 1 lakh kilometers, 100,000 kilometers. And when we look at their batteries, when we look at what has happened, the degradation of the batteries 
is significantly lower and as a result of which we can safely extrapolate and say that the batteries are going to last for beyond 160,000 kilometers. If that's going to happen, I think it is taking away the fear of what will happen to the batteries because if you look at uh, 200,000 or 2 lakh kilometers running, this is what most people would run in about 10 years and therefore, you know, the battery technology today that's available and the way that it has been engineered into the product is significantly more reliable and significantly more robust. So, these fears are of uh, early failures of batteries and then what will happen because it is the most expensive part are in some sense uh, a little unfounded. And anyway, Tata Motors, uh, you know, we offer that yeah. uh, peace of mind by giving you the warranty for that period. So, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Thank I you. I think much. you have uh, educated our readers and viewers with uh, more inputs. And all the best for this Tiago EV. Thank you, Thank you very you much. much sir. Thank you. Experience 10 days of Grand Europe trip for easy EMI of rupees 25,000 only with GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand.